Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. In this box, I've got a mystery tool. And when I say mystery, I don't know what it is, and I need your help to solve the problem. In this box, is a mystery tool. Now when I bought it, I was buying a bunch of stuff from this gentleman. I, boy, I could do two hours on what I purchased from this guy. He had this box and it has something in it I've never seen before. I don't know what it is. And I said, how much do you want for it? And he goes, 30 bucks. And I went, okay, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? He goes, nope. I said, I'll take it. <laughs> so um, let's get started and see what's in here. So the box itself is, well, let's say dirty. Nothing particularly on the lid to give it away. Um, now, I have not gone through this whole box. I opened up, took some of the things out and looked at it. But here, we're going to actually physically dump it out and see everything in there. So here is a tray full of, boy, I don't know. Here's a cutter, probably doesn't belong to it, so we'll put that aside. But it has all these different sizes of, I don't know what it is. And they're, they look like they're sharp. Yeah, they're so-so. Threaded in the middle, several different sizes, plus we have over here a tapered um, or angular cut on the edge instead of straight like this one. In this box is some of these things. You know, they look like there's some kind of ream. Still not sure what it is. Um, seem to have the same threaded size. That may be part of it. I don't, I really don't know. So let's put the tray aside. Now let's get to the cool nitty gritty stuff. This is why I bought it. What I honestly thought I did was bought a three jaw chuck. Um, well, actually, there's two of these chucks. That's exactly what they are. They're chucks, but they're not chucks for a metal lathe. But here is one of these cutters, like I described here, on the end, and a handle that rotates. So my guess is, well, I still don't have a good. <laughs> it's got, I don't know. It's got a lot going on, but let's take a look at these jaws. One thing is, when I got it home, I looked at it and went, oh, these aren't lathe chucks. They're actually something different. And if we look, Right here, you see that there's a thread pitch to them. And if we measure them out, let's find out here. Let's try 18. So if we go here, here's 18. This next one up looks a little coarser than 18. Let's try 14. What I'm gambling on is that these are, yeah, so that's a 18 and a 14. If we come over to our little book here, you know, the uh, Bible, and we go under here, and I'm guessing these are thread sizes. So if we go under the chart here, thread pitches for the different size pipes, you know, 16th, 8th, quarter inch, 3 eighths, inch and a half up to 4 inch, we have 27 uh, 18, 14, 11 and a half, and 8. And that's the thread pitches for the different types of pipes. This looks like it would thread into a pipe. I actually threw a pipe in here. Thread in. I want to say it's like a thread chaser, you know, to clean threads out, but it's not long enough to do that. Let's check out this. Let's see, we've got an 18... Let's see, what are my sizes supposed to be? 18 and 14. We'll pull those out. There's 18. 
18 doesn't work. Let's try 16, just out of curiosity. Nope. 14. 14. Okay, we have 14 on the middle. So 16 on the bottom. 14 on the middle. And Well, it's probably 11 and a half, but I don't have a way of testing that. So I think we can ascertain with that little bit of information that these are threaded for pipes, and this would probably come into a pipe and hold on to it. And these parts here may go in and ream out and clean out a pipe, but I'm not really sure what it does. So let's put these aside. See what else is in here. A couple aluminum tubes. I'm going to bet they're not part of this. They just don't, they don't look the right vintage. Here's a pipe, um, obviously homemade. This is kind of neat. If you look at this, somebody threaded the end of this with pipe thread, which as we all know, tapers, and then cut it into four quadrants. Tighten this up and acts as a collet and holds that down. That's pretty neat. Now, this looks like something that comes with it, um, but was not manufactured for it. So let's go to the next pieces in here. Um, obviously, something else homemade. Boy, I don't know if anything fits in it. Nope. Here's a handle. The handle actually has a little tooth inside it, a little pin that pulls in and out. Um, seems to be the right vintage, so I think that stays with it. Here's another device. Boy, I just don't know what it is. Um, looks to be a half inch hole on both ends with a set screw. Um, obviously homemade, does not go with it, but, does it fit there? Nope. Okay, <laughs> the parts are mounting, still don't have a good clue. Um, I don't know. More stuff. This, boy, it's hard to say. Well, somebody, you can see the scars of a vice in there. Still looks on the homemade pile. Nope, doesn't fit there. Another pipe, but this is galvanized. I'm going to put it in the scrap pile, and I'm sure it's not part of it. We've got some wood that's probably just part of the case itself. Here's another one of these. I'll, I want to call it a job, but uh, whatever. Got a place for that. We got a wrench. Looks like it's the right thing. Great vintage wrench, heavy duty. Okay, mystery still going on. Here are a bunch of um, threading chasers of some sort. I don't know if you guys can see that well enough. But it's uh, T is the insignia, and it just says T-A-R-U-E, Mark. Oh, <laughs> that's a D, not a U. Trademark, T. Um, three sets of them. I don't think these go with it. I'll just put it over. Actually, it makes, kind of running out of room here. Let's... Let's go all out. Oh, we got something good. Okay, we have documentation. Um, well, 
I can see on the document, here's our handle, here's our different chucks. Oh, I gotta be careful with this thing. Okay, we're getting closer. Well, I don't have everything needed. There is some sort of bed that belongs to this. Let me turn around and see if I can figure it out. Oh, got to be careful here. Do I have another page to flip? No. Okay, I think we're solving the problem. It's a Dexter valve reseating with disc cutting machine. <laughs> this doesn't look like any valve cutting machine I've ever seen, but boy, I've got some good parts here. I've got quite a bit of what's in here. Still feel like there's something else to unfold. So here's some more cutters, another shaft. Okay, so I think we're solving the problem of, or solving what this is. This is part of it. This is part of it. Fits on the back here, it looks like, by the uh, drawing. Got some springs. I didn't see any springs in the... Uh, let's go here. Okay, guys, still don't know what it is. Different shims, different... Oh, here's another cutter. Some half pipes for galvanize, some keyways. This could be a part of it. I've got some special collets here. I don't know if they fit in here, not quite. Grinding stone, threads, more stuff. Another cutter, looks similar to this one, just a little different in design. This little thing, is in there. Boy. Here's some valve seats. You know, for a spring. So it would connect into the valve and seat into there, but I still don't know. What it is. What I'm going to do is. Um, Take some close-up photographs of this for you guys. Also, this documentation so you can read it. I need your help. I honestly never seen this before. I don't know what it is. And I'm very intrigued to discover what it does. So, you know, in the comments, tell me what's going on. Help me out. I need a lot on this one. Until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.